So morning all, and we are back out with RB on second test ride today. Those are those bikes coming through the system. This one is for Reese, and it's a Titan in grey, with a top box on it. And as I always say, if you're going to buy a Titan, go for the additional top box. It's somewhere to put your uh, rucksack, or when you get to the other end, put your helmet in your top box. 32 litre fits a full face helmet. And my test rider, Adam's already put some mileage on it for me in the extreme weather. I sent him out for a change. Let him get wet in the mornings. So, up to me. Final few miles to put on this. Got 11.4k on it. And we're going to crank this up to about 15.20. And as always, absolutely love these Titans. Can't get them now for love or money. My next batch isn't due till about January. We are totally out of stock in Titans across the UK at the moment. There's only a few dealers that have got these left. We had 10 in, and I've managed to sell every single one in about four weeks. So absolutely ramping through these Titans. I can't get hold of Diablos either. Auras are in stock. We've run out of Auras though. Sold me last one last week. That has gone. But uh, obviously some new bikes coming from Lexmoto. And we were up on the trade show on Sunday. If you've seen the last video, I'll go on about the uh, motorcycle live. We had a good day up there. And there's some great bikes coming out from Lonsin and obviously from Lexmoto. And the Lonsin brand being pushed out by Lexmoto. Did have a look at the new Vogue. Do like that bike. And they've got obviously the new electric. I'm going to get to speak to my uh, dealer, Rob. You can wait. And let's see if I can get a ride test on that electric Vogue. Just to see what it's like. And the roads are horrible today. You can just see all that salt in the middle of the road. Look at it. There is salt everywhere. Not good for bikes, hence the reason why we test ride, let them get filthy, and then uh, RB gets his little carter out with his snow foamer and snow foams the bike. If you are doing a bike, or if you have got a bike, obviously a lot of riders are winterising their bikes, not using them due to the amount of road salt that is out there. But if you do use your bike on sort of daily or weekly basis get yourself a good wash kit or get down your local car wash and just your good old foam brush and a good old jet wash just to get that salt off of your bike because it will corrode like an absolute nightmare hence why uh, we tend to snow foam let it dry over a day keep it in the workshop and then goes across to me good old ACF 50 I do like my ACF 50 but you can get other sort of rust blocking or rust compounds that uh, obviously do stop corrosion I tend to use ACF 50 though and my GTR sits out in all weathers no rust on it at all because it's ACF to the maximum but keep your bike clean guys keep it maintained keep an eye on your chain keep that lubed decent bit of spray grease on there or good chain lube content and I tend to use most of the liquid molly products either that or I tend to use muck off no I didn't just swear I said muck off great product very pricey but muck off products are very very good and we will be trying some new products coming up into Christmas and into the new year just to sort of let you know with the new products that are coming out I've got uh, a few companies that are going to be sending me some freebies and then uh, obviously what I'm going to do I'm going to use that product if it's any good I'm going to pass it on so if you happen to be on my channel and you see me advertising a product I don't tend to keep products I tend to pass them on as I do with uh, obviously the Christmas giveaway which is only a couple of weeks away 
quirkiest comment on my videos. That's all we're going to do. And I'm not going to even have any involvement on that. I am going to get Mrs. B to look at the comments. Quirkiest or funniest comment. And I am going to be giving away some RB merch. Load of stickers. And we're going to give away a Drift Ghost camera. Now I had a couple of them sent to me, demo units, um, from Drift. And they said, oh, we noticed you used a really old Drift camera. I st and I still use it for my videos. You can't beat the original Drift Ghost. And this is a Ghost S I've got on. And I tend to use it for all my videos. This has been... Uh, be oh, that was a bit bleeding close. I tend to uh, obviously use that. Now, now, that was the original camera I had when I went down with my uh, CBR600F. And that took a hell of a scratch and a bang. And it was the same camera that I had when I got knocked off with the ZSB, and that camera just keeps going and going and going. Everyone's like, oh, upgrade your camera. Why? The lens is fine. It's a great little camera. It's not failed me yet, so if it's not broke, why fix it? And so I'm going to keep going on with my Ghost S until it packs up. I have got a Ghost X as well that I tend to use for attaching to the front of the bike. But they sent me a couple of Ghost Xs. It's a little small compact thing, and I'm like, mm, it's all right. It's a good camera. But I didn't like the idea of the microphone socket on it, so I'm going to give one of those away, along with the batteries for it, and it's got an extra long-life battery. They sent me some extra long-life batteries as well. So, what I'm going to be doing is giving that away as Christmas... Where are you going? Car drivers these days got no sense of direction. Uh, are you going to turn left? Are you going to turn right? Or are you just going to sit there braking? Typical Volvo driver. Oh, you're going to go straight on. Well, that's good of you. Thank you very much. As I say, I'm going to give away that camera. Load of RB merch. Quirkiest comment. And that's open to all my subscribers. Obviously, close, close friends. You're out of the running, unfortunately, boys. Because otherwise, someone's going to say, Oh, yeah, but you've given it to a friend. I bet he gives it you back. No, I'm just going to give it away. So, quirkiest comment, stick it in the comment section, and that's going to be on all my videos. Christmas giveaway from RB. As you've probably seen, the new RB jackets are out. We've had a rebrand of the merch. And uh, happy days on that. So, new, new uh, fleecy jackets are out. So, if you happen to be into one of those... And the merch shop should have that up shortly. Quick shoulder check there. Where the fucking hell are you bibbing? What's your problem? Oh. What do you expect? It's a Volkswagen driver. And she's female. I was in the right lane, love. It's either that or it was the BMW behind, a silver BMW. I think she cut the silver BMW up trying to pull out. Which is why you got to watch your mirrors all the time, guys. Nothing like a pedantic female. I've got a hooter. I know how to use it. Do no, you know how to use it as much as your mobile phone that's in your hand then, love? And spot that, did we? Yeah. So, 16k on the bike. All done. I'm going to give that lorry a bit of a wide berth, I think. He is... Where are you going with that? Uh, all the gear, no idea. Why is it I am surrounded by learner drivers today? Jesus. As if there isn't enough dimwits on the road, they then go and uh, teach people to drive cars. What they should do is make everybody ride a bike for a couple of days. 
and then you'll see how vulnerable you are. Go, oh, I'm a car driver, I'm alright, I've got a cage. Yeah, go and ride a bike for a couple of days and then you'll see how vulnerable you are. So, back into the ride test. 16, nearly 17k on the bike. This one's going out to Reese. With his uh, grey Titan and top box. The bike's riding absolutely lovely. And then we're going to go back for a, a clean and ACF. Just crank up the last little bit of mileage one more time on the ride circuit. Oh, nice to see they're using an indicator. That's good. Happy days. As always, don't forget live streams on Friday, 8 o'clock. Got a few guests coming in. I'm not going to tell you who they are. We've got some nice guests coming in on Friday. If you did enjoy the video, give it the thumbs up. Comments down below, and don't forget to leave your quirky comment if you do want to win some of that RB match. As I say, the jackets are going to be coming up on sale shortly. Wrong side of the roundabout as well. Yeah, he's going, come on. Let's go. In gear. That's it, pull away. You'll get there eventually. It's a learning experience. <coughs> Yes, yeah, so RB Jacket's going up on the merch store soon. All rebranded if you do want one of those. Keep an eye on the merch store. I think they're going to be around about 20, 25 quid. But they're worth it because they're lovely and warm. And we had a final one, quick final thought of the day. We had a question came up on my uh, one of my videos. What jacket is it you're wearing? It's called Phillip Island Bikewear from Australia. And they've actually rebranded their name now. So it's no longer Phillip Island, because obviously I had a demo model sent to me from my guys in Australia. Thank you very much to Phillip Island. I had a demo model sent, but it's now called Biker Gear Australia. Go on, look in Biker Gear Australia. <coughs> Check it out. And easy to spot mine. Mine is the only one in there that's fluorescent. It's the yellow and black one. It's got like 3M all over it. It's got that Thermalite liner in it keeps you lovely and warm but it does work effectively I've got it on today and it's lovely I'm toasty toasty warm especially after I've had my cup of coffee today but as always thumbs up comments down the bottom hit the like and subscribe go and check out all the other bikers I follow that's all in the description below we'll see you on the live stream Friday Another Titan going out to a happy customer this week once she's had a clean and they see F. And until the next time, guys, when we are out riding with RB, and that is going to be in about 10 minutes on number two of three, uh, I think number two of four Titans that I've got to ride. So another one up in a while, so a lot of videos coming up this week. As always, be well, ride safe. And when he decides to move out the way, it's going to be a big goodbye from me.